Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. First things first, if you're watching this video, go ahead and drop a like, drop a sub, and drop a comment as well. Now, today I'll be coming at you guys with my preview for the 2021 KO Squad Pro Men's Open Bodybuilding Show. I believe it's the first pro show in Egypt. And going through my analytics today, guys, I realized that 96% of people that watch my channel aren't subbed. That means almost the whole channel isn't subbed. So if you're rocking with Go Fitness, man, if you're over here watching the content, go ahead and take some time to hit that sub button for me right now. Now, I was going to save my predictions for tomorrow, but I don't have as much to say about the guys in this lineup as I did about the Legion Sports Fest. So I'm just going to put my predictions at the end of this video. You guys stay tuned to the end for that. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. So starting off with the reviews, we're actually going to take a look at Stan D. Longo. I'm not sure if this is how you pronounce his name, but he's also known as Stanimal, and he's the training partner of Sean Roden, our 2018 Mr. Olympia. And honestly, this was an amazing package that he brought to the Legion Sports Fest. He just needs to honestly add more size. He's pretty conditioned. I'm honestly surprised that he wasn't able to move up because of his condition. So in his lineup, I'm not sure. Me personally, I think he should be able to beat some guys off condition, but I'm not sure. But very excited to see what he's going to bring to the stage. And next, we're actually going to talk about Regan Grimes, man. The man the man, pretty much most people have winning this show, probably in the top two. As you guys know, Regan is working with Milos. The package that we see him bring to Legion was the most impressive Regan to date. And something I don't think a lot of people notice is Regan placed 15th and Patrick Moore placed 14th at the Mr. Olympia. Patrick Moore placed 10th, I believe, at Legion, and Regan Grimes placed second. So this is a lot about both parties, or maybe a little more about each. You guys can decide that between yourselves, but whether Regan was just so much better or Patrick was that much off. But I'm very excited to see what Regan is going to bring to the stage, and you guys are going to know why I have him placed soon. And next, we're going to talk about Mo Shaban. This guy placed 10th at this year's past Mr. Olympia. He placed a very close second at the California Pro to Patrick Moore. And he also placed a very close second to Akeem Williams in Puerto Rico. But people who were there in person said Akeem was a lot more conditioned and it wasn't as close. But this guy is pretty good, man. Him and along with a lot of other guys that I have in this lineup uh, that are doing this show, they competed a lot last year. So I feel like they may be a little worn out. And I honestly don't believe that we're going to see the best Shabun at this show. As you guys can see in these pictures, he looks to be a bit watery. And that was on the Mr. Olympia stage. So if he wasn't able to bring it to the Mr. Olympia, honestly, I don't think he's going to bring his best to this show. But if he takes a little time off, this guy can be a serious threat. So next, let's talk about Samson Dowda. And I'm pretty sure you guys know that Samson plays second at the Arnold Classic UK to Nathan Diasha. Honestly, a lot of people had him beating Nathan. Me personally, just ranting off, I had Nathan winning that show, but Samson was very close. And he also placed a, he also placed third at the Yamamoto Cup. Uh, Roly Winkler was in second and Nathan Diasha won that show. And most people feel like Samson should have at least played second because Roly was very off. But Samson is another guy being coached by Milo, so I'm pretty sure he's going to come in condition. But something I noticed, the guys that Milo's coaches don't seem to have, the guys that Milo's coach don't seem to have striated glutes for some reason, but they're shredded everywhere else. But Samson can definitely come in and win this show. And another guy coached by Milos who doesn't have the most striated glutes is Mokamek L.A. Mom. And he actually did a lot of competing this year. Him, Moshe Bun, and Hassan Mustafa, I believe, were the top three that qualified for points for the Mr. O this year. And this was actually a recent update that Milos put up. And his quads are feathered. He looks pretty conditioned, so I'm pretty sure he's going to be on for this show. And he hasn't competed as much as Hassan and Moshe Bun. Uh, he placed, I believe, fourth at the Cali Pro, and he dropped the ball a little bit at Tampa, where I believe he placed eighth, and I think that's why he ended up working with Milos after the Tampa Pro. All right, and go ahead and getting straight into my top five predictions for this show. I know you guys seen Cedric McMillan's name on the list, but courtesy of Bodybuilding and BS, I don't believe he's doing the show. But if Cedric does show up shredded, he wins, and if Cedric shows up off, he'll probably place around sixth. But in fifth place, I have Stanimo. Uh, this guy is pretty good. He honestly can move up if he doesn't look too small in his lineup compared to a lot of these guys. But he's actually pretty good 
once he put on a little more size, he's definitely going to be pushing some of these guys. And in fourth place, I have Mo Shaban. Uh, honestly, this guy could win the show. But as you can see here, and as I said earlier, he didn't bring the condition to the Mr. Olympia competition. So I just don't believe he's going to be in shape. But he takes some time off next year. We'll definitely see a better version of him. And in third place, I have Mokamic L.A. Mom. Uh, he's being coached by Milos. And the Arnold Classic was actually a pretty good showing for him. Uh, probably one of his best showings today, and I believe this is also going to be a great showing for him. He hasn't competed as much as some of the other guys. So third place in this lineup, pretty good. And in second place, I have Samson Dowda, and it's actually going to be a fight for first. I believe Samson could win this show, but he still needs to put on a little more size. He has one of the best structures, very aesthetic, and has an amazing flow. Bright future for Samson, but I don't believe that he's going to be able to win this show. And in first place, of course, I have Regan Grimes. Honestly, I had Samson at first, but just starting to see the comparisons. Regan is bigger than Samson, and Regan still, Regan appears to be bigger than Samson, but we'll actually see that on stage. Let me correct myself. And Regan still has a lot of size to put on. And if Samson looks smaller than Regan, that means Samson definitely has a lot of size to put on. But Samson is an amazing poser, and that may allow him to get ahead of Regan Grimes. But in my personal opinion, I think Regan is going to win this show. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's a qualifier for the Mr. Olympia, so he's going to qualify for the O and shut it down. I'm very excited to see what Regan and Milos are going to do together in the future. But yeah, guys, so that's the review. Those are my top five predictions. If Cedric shows up shredded, he wins the show. If he shows up off, he places six, fifth or sixth. And if he doesn't, more than likely Cedric, apparently Cedric is actually sick and he didn't just step out. So let me clarify that. So we more than likely won't see Cedric this weekend. I believe that bodybuilding and BS said that he notified the KO people this past Sunday that he wasn't going to be able to make it. So if Cedric shows up, you guys have to go over to his channel and complain to him about it. That's where I got the info from. So I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. Like, comment, and sub. Hit the sub button, man. 96%. I'm out.